Receive a warm greeting, dear friends. This time, we will look at how to program those PMIX, those power managers that are included or embedded directly in the main board. That is to say, those main boards that have the token included or incorporated. We have seen many ways to program the token when accessed through the card or when we work with cables and program it with the RT809FUH. But in this case, we must approach it differently since the TCON is integrated into the main board and requires some special considerations. Let's look at them now. To carry out this practical explanation, we will use as a reference the main board used in the LG 49UJ635T television. The necessary tools for programming the PMIC of this main board, which is as SW50B3A, are as follows. First and foremost, we will need the RT809FU programmer. Secondly, we need to locate the physical connections to the serial clock and serial data pins, which for the SW50B3A are pins 16, known as serial clock, and 17, known as serial data. These terminals will be connected directly to the RT809FUH either through the BGA and SP port, pins 12 and 15, or alternatively to the Boucher's card, which incorporates two inputs for these three terminals to outputs for connecting different types of LG token. You can choose the method that suits you best. The easy method to, is to connect directly to the RT809FUH, taking these two terminals, pin 16 and 17, to the BGA and SP terminals. In the image, you can see how the connection uh, to these terminals is made and where the solder points sh should be. You can refer to the Boosters applications, which guides us on different types of PMIC and where to find clocks and data connections directly on the main board. In this image, we use the Boosters application developed for Android phones, containing a compilation of different types of PMIC with specific memory locations that we need to modify or alter to efficiently and satisfactorily vary to voltage BGH, BGL, and BCAM through programming. To ask is a simple and understanding which memory position to affect, subsequently, which the RT809FUH, I detect the type of PMIC or power manager that the TCON has, sweep and explore the LED LCD panel, and then modify it to finally enable writing. With this, we will then be modified the voltage as we will see next. For our specific case, this type of car in our work bank, we will affect memory positions 0, 3. Eventually, you will notice that position 0, 3 does not take effect, so we will affect memory position 0, 5. Let's proceed to make the respective connections. Here we have the main board. The heatsink has already been removed. It's an LG LJ7 chassis. And here we have tracked with the continuity scale measurement instrument where track 16 and 70 lead to they arrive at those two pad marketer. We have already connected the tracks and for this case we are going to measure the BGH voltage level currently present 
at the moment. Which is it through that respective pin? Look through that capacitator and monitor it will our instrument. For this card, the nominal VGH is 29 volts, but for this practice, we are bring it between 20, 22, 23, 24 volts. As a result, a screen was recovered due to clock signals with low impedance. Some were isolated, leaving some lines and a spot. At times, we adjust the BGH value significantly. Well, to start programming, we will need to open the RT809H. In this case, the one we have available, double click on the executable the software screen should open. And there, we will follow these steps. It has already been detected. We will select Auto ISP. Auto ISP. We will select this option, which is what we are going to there. And with this, we recognize two types of PMIC, which is what we need for this case. The SW5084 and the SW50B3A. Those are the PMIC we will work with. If the other one doesn't work, we can do it with the other one. First, we read it. Save the information from that PMIC in case something been changed. Note, for this PMIC, it has been found that in some cases, it's programmed in position 03 and in other cases in position 05. Here, we will proceed to initially affect position 03 and take a measurement. If it doesn't work, we'll leave it at was and go to the position 05. For this example, we will take the BGH voltage meter at the output corresponding to the pin indicated to the guide, which is at 29.97 volts. We will program it then. Let's see the RT809H application. We have already detected the memory. We read it, skip saving because we already have it saved and affect the memory positions 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. It has 01. We will leave it at 02. It's at 02. We say OK, select the right option, and finally we check. An error occur here. So we have to repeat the process. We say it right again, and it came out successful. With this zone, we look at the voltage on the board and verify the current value, which for this case is in 21.94 volts. Very well, we see in the image the satisfactory result, and this was the connection made RT809H to the user board connected by ISP, serial clock, serial data ground, and those three pins go to the main board, zero clock, zero data, ground, to pins 16 and 70 of ICNO 9000. Now, let's ask ourselves a question. What happens if we open the buffer and instead of leaving the value 0, 02, we leave, for example, the value 0, 03 in position 0, 06, which defines BGH? We have left it there at the value. Zero 03, we said OK, and see how too much the voltage increased. Zero 03. OK. And the error occur again. Here we say write again until it comes out well. It's done. And let's take the display on the multimeter. Let's measure again here, again on the diode. And This is the value of the multimeter, 22.92 volts. So this defines the experimental range in which we could be moving in the hexadecimal value program that PMIC.
We have talked about the epidemic. Here, we see it below. This one we see here as IC9200. This IC9200 for this algae card of this system is connected to the serial port of the TV. In this case, indeed, we realize that the PMIC goes through GPU 98, GPU 79. Many times, we could think that it too easily connect to the IA port to the main board C square and thus the PMIC we should connect to any pin that says serial clock and serial data. But the answer is that this cannot be done, because if we look at the processor, here is it, the main SUC processor. If we look here, then the SUC processor has serial clock and serial data 4 to connect by HDMI 4, serial clock and serial data 3 to connect via HDMI 3, serial clock and data 2 to connect via HDMI 2. Serial clock and serial data 1 to connect via HDMI 1. Finally, if we look here for the corresponding audio part, we also have via pin 138 and 139 of the circ and other bus and C square to communicate with the C5300, which is the digital amplifier that has been designed for this type of TVs. Then, we realize that there are five different buses. That is why if we measure continuity between serial clock and serial data that goes to the PMIC, we realize that the line is not shared. That is that we are not going to find it in an external port that says serial clock, serial data, whether one two, three, four, five, because they are not connected to the same device. Then the only option left for us to connect the PMIC and ensure that we are connecting directly the pins that correspond to serial clock and serial data would be to look for those pins 16 and 17 to address the PMIC program it at therefore start to control the value of VGH, the value of VGA even, VGA OTD. Because as soon as we program VGH, VGH and VGH OTD will be varying between a value more than the one defined in VGH and less than the one defined by VGL. Here we have VGL and in some models they come with v two VGL. VGL only and VGL1. Here we have the beacon voltage that it's also programmable and we also see that the perform to correct exploration of the panel, the signal output of the gamma signal is being generated by this pin together with the respective voltage necessary of the panel to function. The ABGD and the subsequent voltage downwards. Gentlemen, we remain in contact. Warm regards.